Resist the urge to reach out to your avoidant ex. Don't break no contact. Don't do it. First, it's just not going to give you the results that you want. Number two, you'd be chipping away at your own sense of self, your own self-worth. That's the most important part. You never would have blindsided them. You never would have pulled the rug from under their feet. You never would have discarded them and shown them no empathy and given them little to no explanation as to why the relationship had to end. You wouldn't have done that to them. They're treating you as if you're an option. If you're reaching out and chasing them, well, you're enabling them because you're sending them the message that you are an option, but you're also sending yourself the message that you're an option, that it's okay to treat you this way, that you're hoping and begging for a person that completely ditched you to come back and choose you as their option. It chips away at your sense of self and your own self-worth. Use no contact as the opportunity to heal. Focus on understanding that this person's behavior is not a reflection of you. It's not your fault and it has no reflection or representation of your self-worth whatsoever. You didn't deserve this because you wouldn't have done it to them. And this behavior is unhealthy. And when you truly understand that, you stop blaming yourself and you're able to heal and move on. And you can use no contact to focus on things that better your life in, in many different ways. Learn a new language, work on physical fitness, your career, hobbies, family, friends. Put your energy into things that benefit you. Number two, really, it won't benefit you to reach out because this is a person that's deactivated. When an avoidant has their fears triggered, they take their feelings for their partner, they suppress them, they bury them, they don't allow themselves to access their feelings. And these fears get triggered, especially when emotional intimacy and closeness is building in the relationship. They learned in childhood that emotional closeness isn't safe. So they push partners away, especially loving ones, to keep themselves safe there so they don't have to get vulnerable and they don't have to get exposed as being not lovable. But when they do this, they're only thinking of themselves. They're not considering the impact that this will have on the other person. Because they're so insecure, they're only really able and willing to consider their own wants, needs, and feelings. But reaching out, they'll take it as pressure, pressure to be emotionally available, pressure to be vulnerable. And chances are they won't respond, or if they do, it won't be in the way that you want and it'll just set you back because you've unintentionally enabled them and they just kind of gave you a very cold answer or none at all. And that is very painful. Don't set yourself back, stay strong, Respect your self-worth and stay in no contact.